Hello everyone, this is Darling Tart Heart and today we are doing a pick a card reading a long overdue one and I am so excited. Welcome to Darling Tart Heart. Today we are doing a video all about who will you marry? Oh my god, this was the most requested video, the most requested video that I could ever do in my YouTube channel. Literally all the comments that have suggestions have this particular reading for some reason um, from different comments, from different people, people that don't even know me, uh, that came across my channel and they asked for this particular reading. Who will you marry? I guess people are such lovers. Everyone wants to fall in love and stay uh, with their special someone forever and ever. And I can totally understand. I mean, I, most people that I know that love tarot readings, literally the reason they started watching tarot readings are because those tarot readings help them understand who their future spouse is, who their future uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, literally uh, who their special someone is and literally it was my, part of my journey as well. So I am so excited for this video today. As you can see, I have different decks with me today. Introducing you the Da Vinci tarot over here which is in greek sadly i cannot read from the guidebook but uh, we will do the tarot reading with uh the knowledge that i have from art for da vinci and also of course tarot we have the divine feminine deck and we also have oh my god are you even prepared for this we have uh the claw deck which is literally the deck from the anime card captor sakura which was one of my favorite anime i think it was one of the first anime i have ever watched as a kid and i was so mesmerized with all the cards i mean i was obsessed with card games from literally such a young age and uh, i mean Yu-Gi-Oh cards and uh like pokemon cards everything in between was my favorite thing to do uh so yeah i'm so happy that i I have this deck i had it since uh, a long while i think it is like two or three years that i have had this deck um and i also got it for my best friend also uh, i think it is a perfect gift uh because it is a very fun deck so yeah we have three three different three completely different vibes three completely different piles this is more of a divine masculine this is the divine feminine and this is everything in between because i i literally can see so much potential with this deck i have been rambling for uh two minutes already or three minutes uh so yeah let's get to it this is pile number one with a silver heart this is pile number two with a gold heart and this is pile number three with a pink heart feel free to pause this video and meditate a little bit to figure out which file has the right message for you. You can always come back to this part of the video if something doesn't really resonate with you. It is totally fine. Just come back to this part of the video and pick another pile and go to the corresponding timestamp from my description box down below to get to your message a little bit faster. And without further ado, let's see who will you marry. Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number one with the silver heart and the Da Vinci deck. Let's see who will you marry oh my and we have a major account card oh my god this is a great great amazing start we have the star to astro as in my language we also have the english version over here and the latin version over here which is beautiful amazing i love when decks have different languages on them anyway we have the star card guys this is a perfect start this person is going to like shine in your life it is going to be so amazing to even look at this person this person is going to shine bright the moment they walk into a room their inner strength their inner uh beauty everything about this person is going to shine bright for your eyes um the star card is the major kind of card that corresponds to the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So maybe this person is going to be an Aquarius or maybe you are an Aquarius and you really, really love uh, your own energy. And this person is really going to reflect your energy as well. Um, and literally the star card is the card that says the star is born. Something bright is going to happen in your life in the darkest of times. It is a card about healing. The main message of the star card is healing. This person is going to help you heal your inner child. Uh, this person is going to heal your um, 
divine feminine or your divine masculine energy um this person is not going to let you uh stay wounded for uh i mean this person wants to help you heal this person is um they could be a doctor as well but the star card is mostly about uh, artistry and how art heals our inner wounds but again it could be that this person is a doctor someone who uh, can heal like your body they can heal your spirit um, and literally everything in between because uh, healing work uh, takes so much more than just healing your body or take medicine or uh, healing your inner child they could be uh, anything that helps you with your healing journey uh, it can mean that this person is so happy uh, that they are going to invite your energy into being happy as well I mean this is how it worked for me so I, I figured out it can work out for you as well this is why I'm saying this um, literally this person is going to be a star signing bright uh, for some reason I got a specific image in my head that this person's uh, like favorite shape is going to be a star I don't know why I got this particular um, message in my head but I don't know sometimes there are particular things that are particular jokes that this uh, person may uh, do that involve the word star um, because I mean uh, communication and keywords and like inner jokes um, between you know two people or between groups of people uh, can be one particular thing uh, so this is why I am saying that it can mean something literal about the star that this person is like uh, a star in like uh, playing the guitar for example this person can be um, the best one in their field they are a star everyone comes to them so yeah there is something in particular with the word star and maybe other people are describing this person as a star someone who they really go to when they need help for something or when they just need a piece of advice um, this is literally such a beautiful card this is such a da vinci card literally um let's see let's get some more guys i'm so excited i feel like this is the first time i uh do a reading in my youtube channel with this deck so i'm really happy to invite you in this deck's energy this deck was gifted to me by one of my uh best friends hello if you're watching this video um and i'm really happy to have this deck i feel like this is the first deck i ever saw uh, like in person in a store so i'm very happy to have it i'm very happy to have a divine masculine energy deck let's get some more cards let's see who will you marry let's see their characteristics let's see what this person has to offer to you how will you uh, recognize this person come on deck give me what I need to know. We have a card, Justice. Uh, it says it over here if you uh, want to read the card also. Uh, we have the card Justice. In Greek, it is the Chaosini. Um, I feel we have another major arcana card which also corresponds to an air zodiac sign. Uh, the Justice card is the, zodiac, the card that corresponds to the zodiac sign of Libra. Maybe again, this person could be a Libra or you are a Libra and you're inviting the same energy as you uh, sign towards others. Uh, Libra is the zodiac sign that likes balance. Uh, they really like things uh, to be symmetrical. They really like things balanced in their life. Um, but also this card could be literal. This card can mean that you are meeting this person uh, in a law environment. Um, this person may be a lawyer, maybe they have something going on in their life that can correspond to this uh, message of law. Uh, maybe you meet, them, you meet them during some kind of uh, judgment, during some kind of uh, law involving situation. I'm not really sure what the right words are, uh, so I'm really sorry if I sound like uh, I don't know any English. I just don't know how um, law works, at least in 
English terms, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, the thing is though, with the justice card, I feel like justice is served. This person is going to treat you fair. This person is going to make you a priority. This person wants to... Um, be the person for you but also they really love to give you the space to do things on your own which is such a beautiful and balanced energy we rarely see that happen because sometimes we love bomb people and we don't really know when to stop and um, with the justice card i see that this person really likes to uh, but have this balanced energy again this person may be a Libra also and you know Libra people are really flirtatious they it seems like they are flirting all the time with people but the thing is when they choose who they want this is it this is just who they want to spend the rest of their life with Again, with the Justice card, I think uh, Justice card is card number eight in this particular deck. In most decks, the Justice card is card number um, 11, which is very interesting to have this uh, particular one with the number eight. Um, but again, we have this energy of eight, the endless possibilities. This particular deck has Justice card in the number eight because the number eight is about balance. It is an even number. So, and the number eight is the number of possibilities, the number that corresponds to infinite possibilities. And, you know, you having the energy to go and study and do things this person may also uh want to uh study a lot they really like reading they enjoy going to the library and spend time there they really like uh educating themselves i mean i see it with the star card and the justice card also this particular um uh, information that they really like to educate themselves um this person has this um huge brain energy i see that the crown chakra is open they really love knowledge they really like to be connected with the spirit world they really like um talking they really like thinking and writing down their thoughts i don't know what it is maybe it is the air zodiac signs talking right now through me but i really see i mean there is not one person that i have met who is an air zodiac sign and they do not like read literature they do not like to study things i am i, I am one of uh those zodiac signs i am a libra i have gemini rising and gemini moon i am all about education and knowledge i really love reading i have been reading my whole life uh, it was one of my favorite things to do as a kid and i still to this day uh really enjoy reading but anyway, this is uh, this matches the, this person's energy so much. So maybe their hobby is like the reading. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get more cards to find out more information. As you can see, we have two major arcana cards. This person is going to change your life. This person is all about self-improvement and they really enjoy things. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Hippotis Denario, as it is in Greek. And I really feel like this person, um, the, the Knight of Pentacles is the slow and steady wins the game energy. They really like to act um, with a particular pattern, with a particular action at a time. But they really are taking the sweet time with things because um they really know that the slow and steady wins the game this is just who they are um when i see pentacles in uh tarot i always think of like money wealth uh the pentacles correspond to the earth element the earth element is all about material things in our lives like money uh things in our environment and uh, I, I always think of, of gifts when i see the knight of pentacles so maybe this person's love language is like um giving you gifts or uh they really like to do things for you so like uh, acts of service uh, maybe their language of preference maybe they also like to be touched um but 
I think the first two is most important than the other love language. I really feel like this person is a gift giver. This person really likes to do things with you, spend quality time. Um, again, I see this person coming towards you because again, the knights correspond to the element of movement, someone who creates movement in their lives, even though it feels like they're taking their sweet time with it. I feel like maybe that you want someone who uh, does not love bomb you like with um, messages, with uh, calls all the time. You really want someone who wants you and take secure steps at a time. You don't want someone to love bomb you uh, with random stuff and because you, you don't, maybe you don't believe them and um, you really want someone who is balanced. Maybe this is where the justice card is uh, taking here. Uh, someone who is balanced, how, someone who knows when to text you, someone who knows that you need uh, time for yourself during the day and they don't like uh, want your time during the day to just talk for how you've been, what uh, cool weather we have today, you know, uh, things that take uh, time to uh, be talked about, but they are not really that much of uh, like a conversation, someone who... Uh, understand your thoughts. No, this person really likes things to get to be done slowly, steadily. They really like again to take things uh, slow. And I really feel like this person uh, is very, very charming. For some reason, I'm getting that their appearance is charming. They are so um, like, I don't know, beautiful, handsome, but in a charming way, some someone who has this like charming look in their eyes. Their their eyes is something very very different that you have never seen. They have these uh, sparkly eyes. I don't know what it is. I'm just uh, getting this particular message uh, from the cards. Um, we have the five of wands. This is an interesting card. Uh, this person has fought. Uh, very much in order to get to where they are. I feel like their story is going to be very different compared to uh, people you have met before. Uh, this person has literally fought in order to get where they are. The five of um, wands makes me think of someone who um, was in competition with others in order to get their, to the right place. I feel like their opinion was not heard, uh, but they still tried and tried and took their time in order to get where they are. I feel like this has something more to do with what they do uh, as a job, as a, you know, uh, what makes them money. I felt, I feel like this person um was in competition or when you meet this person um maybe they are applying for a different job and there are many uh applicants as well as them and um they are in this time of their life when they are where they are changing their jobs um again this person has fought hard this person has done everything in their power in order to level up their life the five of wands makes me think of someone who fights for things, someone who uh, will reason with you when things need to be done. And especially if this is something they have been dreaming for a long while, because the wands correspond to the fire element. The fire element is all about uh, what gives us uh, fire, what gives us drive and motivation, the passion, the idea, all these uh, things, all these actions that we need to do in order to get things done. So I really feel like this person had a uh, has a particular goal in life and they are going to fight for it. And I feel like this is, uh, this is, this applies to you too. They are going to fight for you. Um, but also again, in a balanced way, they are never going to, um, fight for you like in fists or like they, uh, are going to treat you badly uh, if you do not uh, like so interest in them uh, in the very first time. Um, the number five is about being in the middle of the road. The number five is about uh, having this fear to take the next step, but also 
uh, with the wants, I feel like there is so much drive and motivation to move on and do better and do something different and be different. This person has fire energy in them. They have this drive and motivation. Um, and again, with the number five, I, I think that um, sometimes they take a little bit more of time than they wanted to in order to do something but i feel like they are working on it i mean with the justice card and the star card there is no other way that things can happen we have the card temperance i mean more cards about balanced energy we also have the justice card and now we have the temperance it says it over here which is to me in greek um most of times in greek the word temperance is translated to engratia uh, which means patience uh but again we have uh there is a reason this card is uh, named to me and not engratia so we have the Temperance card. The Temperance card is another major arcana card. This major arcana card corresponds to the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. So again, we have more zodiac signs coming through. I mean, many people watch this video, so you don't have to just pinpoint exactly which zodiac sign is going to be uh, for the person you're going to marry. Um, but you know, everyone is different. Everyone uh, gets different things. Uh, but anyway, we have the Temperance card, we have Sagittarius energy, I said it already with uh, the Five of Wands that this person has much of a fire personality, uh, but again in a balanced way. So this is why we have the Temperance card. The Temperance card is about having your feet on the ground, but your mind should dream big. And this is what this person does. This person is all about balance. This person wants their feet in the ground, just like uh, the Knight of Pentacles over here. Knight of Pentacles is all about, again, slow and steady, earth energy, grounding energy. Uh, literally, this person um, is all about having the feet on the ground. But again, with the Star card and the Temperance card, then mind has wings, the mind has dreams and goals that they want that it wants to achieve, and they are going to make it happen. Uh, Sagittarius people, if you want to talk about uh, like the zodiac sign of uh, the zodiac sign part of things, um, Sagittarius people are all about philosophy and education and big dreams, even though they make no sense with their personality at times. Um, they really like education. They are all about uh, leveling up their knowledge and their education skills. So I really see that this person is all about finding out new philosophy and making new things every day and trying new things. So in my mind, this person is someone who has drive and motivation to go out and do things, but they really want to take their time. They are someone who fights hard for what they want. Uh, their personality, though, is someone who is balanced and they are really like to take their sweet time with things. They really like that the, the uh, slow and steady wins the game. So uh, I really feel like you are managing, uh, this person is just going to show up in your life and they are going to make small steps in the time. They are not going to love bomb you. This person is going to take balanced steps towards uh, whatever they want to achieve with you. Uh, I see so much love. There is healing. There is uh, fairness in the relationship. There is balance. So I really believe that the person you're going to marry is someone who is very, very balanced. So let's get more cards. I feel like getting the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle, which as you know, it is one of my uh, Oracle decks. We have the card to the sea. Hmm. So we have our card and it is to the sea, which is card number seven. Hmm. This is very interesting. I was not expecting a card like this, but here we are. Hmm. To the sea. This person enjoys going with the flow. Again, uh, I said it a lot of times that this person really likes balance. Uh, but keeping the balance sometimes requires you to go with the flow of things and not just, uh, you know, push things when they uh, just do not apply, when the pressure, you know, that 
when you know that the pressure, when you know that a certain amount of pressure is going to, is not going to work out. So I really like that this, I really believe that this person likes to, uh, take things as they come. So, so what I'm getting from this card is that this person really likes to go with the flow of things. They take things as they come. And I really believe that their balanced personality, um, with this energy of going with the flow helping them in their life i'm also getting that i'm also getting that this person really enjoys traveling they really are all about um uh, you know getting to a certain country they have dreams about traveling big they really have a very specific country that they really want to travel to uh this person really just enjoys traveling they really like uh to go in ships and they really like the sea maybe they, it helps them with anxiety also to be around you know places where the sea is uh, or maybe you live in a country or you know you live in a town where it is near the sea and they really like to come towards you and spend time with you and they're just coming it feels like this person is like on the verge of coming i really believe that for you i really believe that it is just a matter of time that this person arrives in your life let's get some more cards that's too many i just want one more before i move on to the romance angels card we have the card regeneration which is card number 46 which goes down to the number 10 which is the number one the number 10 this person is all about sharing this person is all about showing up for the people that they love but also showing up for themselves we have the card regeneration which in this particular deck um is the card of death which is the card of rebirth regeneration means that this person uh has needed to change the like from the inside this person has done the inner work this person is all about manifesting their next big goal and manifesting their, ne their next big dreams by uh moving to their energy towards uh the different things that they want to achieve and they uh imply this different identity in order to uh match up with their goal so for example if they want to uh make more money um they're not just lying around they work harder or they work smarter in order to get things done in order to help them to make more money this person is going to reinvent themselves this person when you meet them uh, maybe they are again in the verge of changing jobs or changing up things about themselves um, and i see a new door opening up for you guys i really believe that this person really likes to get things uh from a new perspective and a fresh new start uh maybe when something doesn't really work out this person um is all about like burning everything to the ground not them burning everything to the ground but they really want to uh see things from a different perspective so they just um apply this energy of seeing things clearly from a distance and see what they can build up from the ground so again i feel like there are so many ideas uh inside this person's brain this person really likes to talk about their dreams and their goals so i'm really all i'm saying is that their personality is someone uh who really likes again to be balanced to go with the flow of things and uh with the regeneration card i'm getting scorpio energy and you know scorpio rising people or scorpio people in general they have this thing with their eyes where they just stare at you and they really read you so this is what i'm getting uh from, with these cards let's get some romance angels card let's see what we have today Let's see, how will you recognize this person? What will your relationship is going to look like? 
we have the card reconciliation someone from your past is returning into your life so yeah this you have met this person before it feels like uh, they are familiar to you it feels like you have known them from a different lifetime also it can mean that in the past maybe uh, you have met them you were friends but you just uh, moved to different countries different cities um, and you just didn't talk since I feel like you have met this person before this is the energy I'm getting with the reconciliation card or this can mean that you uh, maybe you were friends with this person and this person has feelings for you and now they are uh, coming towards you with a different proposal than other than just uh, friendship or they have uh, confess their feelings to you before and now they are going to do it again uh, but in general this card cannot mean uh, that literally this person is an ex and is coming back to your life this person just me this uh, card just means that they could be a person from a past life and if you believe in that and they just feel familiar to you like you have uh, met this person before healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents um, this is a card that it is not here or there it can mean the literal message that it says over here which uh, helps you heal uh, the relationship between you and your parents we also have the message of healing with the star card so uh, this is just a confirmation card that this person is going to help to help you heal your inner child heal um, your life from toxic behaviors you want to become a different person when you are not a different person but a better person when you are with this person or this person is just so happy and they just um invite you to be happy as well so it really helps you relax your energy relax your nervous system and see things different when they come to when it comes to your family um, or it this card can mean that uh, you're meeting this person through family this is what I'm getting with uh, the healing family issues card which is a card that we rarely get uh, I almost I never got this card before and I feel like it is the first time that we also got this card in this channel that's too many cards I just want one more before we move on with another fun stuff we have oh my god guys you have the card this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek guys um <laughs> I feel like a person comes to your mind when you are watching this video right now uh, I mean especially with the reconciliation card I feel like uh, this is just a confirmation card that yes you have met this person before you know who it is or if you don't really know know them you just have heard of them or like you were classmates back in like uh, high school or something um, or you were playing in the same playground uh, like when you were kids so yeah, this person is the one, this person that comes to your mind may be the one or any type of person that comes to your life with these characteristics, uh, it seems like they are the one for you. So this is beautiful, guys. I'm so happy for you. Let's get some charms. Oh my God, guys, this has been, it's been so long since I have done a charm reading. Uh, but here we are today. I am keeping this one so that you remember that this is for pile number one. I'm keeping the cards also uh, like in here. So let's see. I have the bowl with my charms. It uh, overflows. They do not even fit in here. I don't know what to do um, <laughs> with them. But let's get the charms. I'm just putting it over here. Sorry if you don't see much of what's happening. Trust me, I'm not even looking. Let's see what sound we're going to get. All right, that's too many, but let's get them all here. Hmm, many dice. And as I can see, we have many terms that are upside down, which is very interesting. We have two moons. Interesting. Um, hmm, this is very interesting. I'm just oh my god, you have the Pokeball charm, uh, but it is upside down. This is very interesting. Oh, you have one more moon. What it is it with you and moons? Hmm, you have the letter N also, and the charm that uh, is a New Year's charm in my country. Uh, every New Year's we bake a pie for 
um, Santa Claus or Ayus Vasilis, as we say in my culture. But anyway, uh, this is just a charm that we put, a coin that we put um, in this pie, and it and if you get it in your piece, it means that your the uh, that the year we are getting through. It's going to be a lucky one. So what I'm getting from all these times, we also got two sixes over here and another four. Guys, huh. And we also have the car over here. I mean, this is a love written in the stars. We have the intertwined hearts, which literally means that this person is reaching out to you. This person is someone you have met in the past and you are meeting again. We, um, I'm getting this particular message, especially from uh, like the two things here lining up the two lines lining up so yeah this person is the one for you uh just like the charm says and they have like um this cell over here means big sensual energy especially if you are attracted uh to men uh this can mean like masculine energy if you know what i mean i'm keeping this channel um you know <laughs> uh for everyone to watch i'm not saying more words other than that so yeah this means big sensual energy uh with the palette over here it means that uh they are also very creative uh they really like to they really like art they really like enjoying uh, long walks at the museum they really like to talk about art or if they uh, are not even an artist at all uh, they still like the education around art so maybe if they have never even been to a museum they will still enjoy a date with you in the museum uh, let's see this uh, coin it is a hard rock cafe pin um, with a bird on it which literally it makes me think that this person is a free spirit we got this particular message uh, from the temperance card also uh where is it we have the temperance card which is the sagittarius uh energy again free spirit sagittarius people are very free spirited uh as i said already um this person likes to have fun with um their their uh, their company their friends uh with the beer cup this is what i'm getting um this person is protected from the universe with this uh beautiful charm over here this person is again we have someone who is flexible with the band over here someone who is flexible they like to go with the flow of things they apply the right pressure they never pressure you to do anything they just invite you to think something different again with a coin over here i feel like this person is going to be uh your lucky charm uh this number this uh letter n we have over here can be the first letter of their name or it can, or it can mean that you are going to have a new start with this person this is a beautiful new energy but we have the uh, letter N, but we also have this crescent moon, which is a new moon. Uh, I always read these moons as new moons. So I really believe that there is a new emotional start with this person. This person is all about showing up emotionally for you. They really are all about uh, self-help and self-care. They really are all about showing up for you. We have the glow in the dark charm, which again, this gives me such a star energy because this glows in the dark it helps you see things in the dark. So with the star card, this is literally such a clear message. Uh, we also have the card charm, which uh, again, it can correspond to the Knight of Pentacles over here. Someone who likes uh, movement, maybe they own a specific kind of car and um, they really are the charming one of the uh like the neighborhood and they have this beautiful fancy car or they really like to take you on car rides and you have fun and what i'm getting from this smiley is that this person really likes to make you smile they really like to have fun when they are around people and with the flowers over here i really believe that this person is a gift giver and they really like and enjoy to give people flowers uh, let's get some letters also i mean you also have this uh, and charm over here, which I'm going to uh, leave it there. Let's get some letters. Uh, let's leave the N over here. And let's get the letters over here. This can be letters from their first name. It can uh, spell out a specific something. 
So we have an I, an X, an 8, and an O. And I think one more flipped, which is another I. Let's get maybe some more. We have an N, an Y, uh, an O, and another N. <laughs> you have many um, similar ones. Um, hmm. We have the New York, so maybe you are meeting this person in New York or they are from New York. Um, I am getting maybe, I don't know, this, I mean, as you can see, they are not so many, uh, but I, I'm not really feeling like getting more than that. This can be something in particular like um, their uh, how how is that the license plate uh kind the, I think it is three letters and uh, this could be letters that their car have for example their license plate uh so or it can be like some specific um I don't know we have two O's and two I's, which is very interesting, and two N's. So I really feel like this is something. Oink. <laughs> if we had a K, we would have an oink uh, over there. So yeah, these are the letters we have today. And yeah, I feel like that is all the messages I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if this message resonated to you. Let me know if you have questions, if you have ideas for future videos. This was a long requested video. So as you can see, I delivered. I am so excited for this video. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you like more readings with charms or more readings with more letters. And I am going to deliver as a universe myself. Oh, I forgot it. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I would. I was about to leave you without the one special thing. I have a coin over here, which on one side it says yes, and on the other side it says no. So let's flip the coin. Let uh, let you. Let's have you. Oh my God, my brain is just all over the place. Uh, let's have you ask a question and let's see if uh, the answer is yes for it or no. Come on, coin. We have a yes. So, guys, you are so lucky. Um, you have a yes from the universe from the, for the question you asked in your mind. So, yeah, thank you so for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below if all these messages uh, resonate to you. I hope that you are manifesting your soulmate, you're manifesting a wedding. And I am so happy and excited for you. Let me know in the comments if you have met with the one after you watch this video. This is one of my favorite things to receive messages after a while with the reading being to the point. This is literally a dream come true for me. So yeah, that's all the messages I have for you today. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I post every Wednesday and Saturday. And yeah, that's all for me. Let's move on to pile number two. Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number two with the gold heart. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's see who will you marry. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This video uh, literally uh, pumps my blood. It is something so good about it. We have the moon card. Very interesting. Um, we have the moon energy. The moon is a major arcana card that corresponds to big events in our life. So this person that will you that you will marry, I'm sorry, that you will marry, this person is somebody who is going to make a huge difference in your life. Um, this person feels mysterious. This person feels like uh, they are secretive. They have this mysterious look on them. Um, the moon is the card that corresponds to this message of mystery. There is a veil between you and this person and what there is uh, there, what is going on. There is mystery around this person. Maybe this person is just secretive about their past. Maybe they have been through a lot and they don't really like to talk about it. But all in all, there is a mystery around this person. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting the sense that this person has a very beautiful face, like siren features. And uh, for some reason, there is this 
uh, again, uh, the veil, there is some mystery around this person. Um, the moon is also the card that corresponds to the message of anxiety and stress. So maybe this person is someone who has struggled in the past uh, with anxiety and stress and panic attacks. Um, and they keep it like safe. They play very, uh, they play it safe because it has been very very hard on them on the uh, in the past but all in all the moon card is a very beautiful card because um there is this mystery around this person i'm really am getting some book talk kind of energy uh that this person is like mysterious and uh you don't it's not really easy to get to know them um you're not really sure if this person likes you or not but then bam they do the big like gesture over there Let's get some more cards to see who will you marry. Guys, I am so excited for this video. I did not expect uh, myself to be so excited to film a video like this. Uh, but you requested it, so let's see. Let's see, who will you marry? The moon card is also the card that corresponds to the zodiac sign of um cancer and also pisces because the moon is the planet that corresponds to the zodiac sign of cancer but i think the moon um uh, as a tarot card corresponds to the zodiac sign of pisces so maybe this person is a pisces or you are a pisces or you have those um um zodiac signs in your birth chart we have the ace of swords yes uh even though there is so much mystery around this person um this person is someone who really likes to communicate their thoughts and their feelings um they really i i get this specific message that they really like to send messages uh like written uh i'm getting letters for some reason i'm really um even though letters is not really something that people do anymore uh, for some reason, for some of you, I feel like letters is something that is going to be very, very specific with you and this person. Uh, maybe this person is someone who um, likes uh, writing. They enjoy writing down things. Maybe they are an author. Maybe um, they are someone who speaks about stuff. They are a spokesperson. What is the word? Um, any, uh, in any case, the Ace of Swords is the card uh, that tells me that new beginnings are coming and the Swords again correspond to the Earth, the Air element, I'm sorry, uh, and the Air element is all about communication, how our brain works, how we understand things. Uh, so I am really am getting that maybe this person is someone new, that's why you, there is this mystery around this person. Um, and there is this new communication that is building over here. There is communication, there is... Uh, you have someone in front of you who is very skillful with words. This is what I'm getting specifically from the Ace of, War, uh, of Swords. Maybe they recently moved uh, around your place. Maybe um, they are new to your job or like um, they just started a new hobby where you are and uh, they are just trying to make friends, uh, but they still keep this mystery around them um with the moon card i'm really am getting something about writing maybe this person's talent is writing um but this is something that they have not yet unlocked this is why we got the ace of swords this is something new that they want to pursue um or maybe you are someone who is done with all the bullcrap you know and you know and you want someone in your life who communicates with you and you are getting them this is about the person who you will marry so this is about them this is not about you this is about them showing up for you this is about someone who speaks their mind speaks their thoughts their troubles they are not going to leave you on red let's get more cards Will you marry? Who is the person for you? We got our card, and it is the Knight of Pentacles, which is one of my 
favorites because it is a little weird that holds the pentacle uh, with the beautiful shining moon uh in the background and the little stars oh my god this deck i i tell you this deck is so beautiful and so luxurious oh my god we have the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is a minor arcana card just like the ace of swords the knights correspond to like a specific person in our lives but when it doesn't it corresponds to some kind of movement that the person a specific person um does so with the pentacles also the pentacles correspond to the earth element the earth element is all about money material things uh, i always think of gifts when i see the pentacles so i really believe that this person is someone who really values who they spend the time with and also they are a very good gift giver so i really believe that their love languages are going to be gift giving and quality time especially with the ace of swords i'm getting quality time um maybe they like um uh, hugs you know to be touched also but mostly i'm getting quality time and uh gift giving the knight of pentacles is um somebody who uh, likes the slow and steady wins the game they take their sweet time with things they are making absolutely sure before they move on with a specific action I really am getting the fact that this person is going to be someone who is a great gift giver, someone who listens to you, listens what you want, listens what you need, and they make a special surprise for it. Also, the Knight of Pentacles corresponds to uh, some kind of proposal. So you are getting it. You are getting married. You are getting proposed to. And this is something that this person wanted for so long, but for some reason, maybe they thought that they did not deserve it. I'm getting this with the moon card because again, I'm seeing some kind of mystery around this person. There is maybe some kind of anxiety and stress. And the only thing I'm getting when it comes to relationships, um, when I see the moon card is someone who is afraid to uh, like give in to the feeling, you know, uh, someone who... Uh, really wants something wants a deep romantic relationship uh but also they feel like they do not deserve it but this person nonetheless they are trying their best we have the knight of pentacles at the ace of swords this person will never leave you on red this person is disciplined they know when to make the right movement they know when to apply pressure and when to release it they know uh, not to push the other person to the limit and they are somebody who always is going to make sure that you are calm you are collected and um in, in not an explosive kind of mood you know when it is uh you know for with arguments for example uh, they will take their time to figure out what you need. Um, they are going to communicate about it. Like, guys, you are so, so lucky. So, yeah, the energy of this person feels like someone who, someone who is uh, disciplined. They are calm. They get things done. Um, maybe a little bit slower than others, but they take their time because it is very, very important for things to be done um in a specific way for other zodiac signs i am getting with the knight of pentacles mostly earth uh, zodiac signs so virgo capricorn and taurus so yeah this uh, again is an indicator of zodiac signs it can be an indicator of when the you will going to meet this person or when you are going to marry more specifically because this is who you will marry not who you are going to uh meet you who you will marry uh so maybe you are going to marry this person around like a uh, cancer or pisces seasons or the earth zodiac sign season so as you can see we have a lot going on with zodiacs over here with the pisces energy and the earth zodiac signs with the knight of pentacles but this is only because this is a collective reading this uh many people are going to watch these videos so i have to make sure that everyone gets uh the message they need all in all we have someone who is very ready for a relationship and they have been for a long while they want the commitment they want someone 
uh, they, they want to be by your side. They're going to uh, be there for you. They're going to be present. They're not going to have their head in the clouds uh, while they spend time with you. They are someone with big imagination also with the moon card. Again, there is this element that this person is such a good writer. I mean, I'm getting this with the moon card. The moon card is about imagination also. Um, I'm getting it uh, more clearly right now with the Ace of Swords and the Pentacles. This uh, is a person who is very good with words. They are someone who can write a novel about how much they love and adore you. And they are so, so ready to move on with this marriage and make it happen. Be there, be present about it. Let's get more cards. I'm so excited to get more. Oh my, <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure how long this video is going to be uh, and specifically it's reading. So as you can see, I'm getting my sweet time with cards also. We have our card and it is the King of Pentacles, which is so amazing. Um, when I got this deck, um, this creator sent us... Um, it, for with each order this creator has sent us uh one more card like as a present and the card that i got is the king of pentacles so in this deck i have two kings of pentacles um so which makes it quite confusing for some people uh people would say that you have i have to take out the one special uh card with this deck because uh the possibility to get this card is more often than the others now but I do not really care about that. I like this card. I have had it as decor in my room. Uh, but now I kind of um trying to move. So I just put the card right back to the deck and I have left it there. So anyway, we got the King of Pentacles. I, it felt so special to me to get this specific card because I'm somebody who struggles with uh, money and um, career, even though um, I have been told about how talented and how uh, I get things done. And anyway, the thing is though, I got this card that it feels special to me and I am going to read it in the special way that I am receiving it. And of course, with the meaning of the card itself, like we have a king of pentacles over here. We have masculine energy, masculine qualities, uh, like having a routine, being disciplined, be there, be present and take initiative, taking uh, the steps, making the actions and moving forward, you know, with the things that you want. The kings correspond to actual people in our lives, just like uh, the knights over here. And there is so much pentacles energy now that we have two pentacles cards. Um, the king of pentacles makes me think of someone who is, again, all about discipline, all about um, taking their time with things, knowing the fact that nature works in specific ways and sometimes Things might take more time than usual, but being okay with it and doing something else uh, parallel to the things that we are doing. I feel like this person is someone who is passionate about uh, maybe politics and money. Uh, they are very passionate about maybe their career they have chosen for them uh, or they're very successful in their field. This is what I'm getting with the King of Pentacles. They are someone who... Um, is not only dreaming about, for example, becoming rich, they are making it happen. They are making steps towards this goal. They are not someone who uh, you are going to make a family with and they are going to leave you with no money or they're not going to marry you and like live with you in poverty, right? This is someone who will take care of you financially. They want to take care of you um like they are never going to ask you for money. This is someone who is, uh, what is the word? What is the word I'm looking for? Someone who is a provider. So with all that, 
I feel like this person, even though maybe when you meet them, they are not right, quite right there yet, this person has a big future ahead of them. This person is going to become rich. This person has big dreams. They have this earthly energy with them. They know when the right time is to do something. Um, as you know, most Earth zodiac signs are all about taking the right steps at the right time. L literally, I have never ever met um, someone who is an earth sign that uh, took a risk <laughs> in their life. And especially when it comes uh, with money, it is very rare. And if it is to happen, there is something in the birth chart that makes them do this uh, specific risky uh, kind of um, uh, risky action towards a goal. But all in all, we have someone who takes their time with things. They uh, want things to happen in a specific way. Maybe they are very literal with it. Uh, they really push it to happen in their own way, which maybe um, is something that you maybe you would not like. But... Um, the reason for that is because it limits their stress levels. It reduces their stress levels uh, with, with the moon card. I really see like this is someone who, um, again, there is stress. There is uh, and, and them being disciplined, them having a specific routine of things is helping them with anxiety. So uh, with the king of pentacles, again, we have someone who maybe is older than you also. I, I didn't get uh, enough like specifics with this um, uh, King of Pentacles energy. Now I'm moving on to more specific uh, things. The King of Pentacles is someone who is maybe older than you. The Kings correspond to someone who is older, uh, wiser, someone who knows a lot more than you. Uh, maybe they are ahead of you like in a career kind of setting. Maybe they are like your boss or they... Uh, take care of other things in your company than you. Um, they are like at one level um, <laughs> upwards compared to you. But it doesn't have to be that way. It can just mean that this special someone is uh, wiser. They really like to um, spend quality time with people. They are calm. They are someone who is very, very calm. Their energy is calm. And um, they are, I know not many people believe that with the King of Pentacles, but they are very passionate people. They love romantic gestures. They are such romantics. They love the idea of love. Literally, I've never ever met someone who is an earth sign and they are not a lover. They are not like in love with the idea of love. And... Again, I'm getting someone who wants to experience love like a book, like, um, I don't know, a romance novel. I'm not really sure why I'm getting such a, a, a thing with books, specifically uh, with this reading, but uh, here we are. So yeah, let's get more cards, guys. Um, I have been rambling for uh, I don't even know how long. Let's see. Let's get one more card, maybe. That's too many. Let's get them back. I just want one more card. Oh my god. I I really like this person. I really like people who have big dreams, big imagination. Uh, and like they are someone who they, they work hard, but also they use their skills. Um, to, to like up lever themselves and make life easier for them. <laughs> the cards are quite, uh, kind of slippery. I'm sorry about that. Let's get to the shuffling already. Let's see.
will you marry people who chose buying a vegetable with a gold heart? Who will you marry? We have our card and it is the star. Amazing, amazing energy. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. My voice has lowered for some reason. I'm not sure uh, why I feel this way right now. But guys, you have the star card. This person is going to shine bright in your life. This person is going to help you with so much that is going on in your life. This person has healing energy around them. This person will help you with so much in your life. The star card is a major arcana card. As you can see, it is card number um, 17. And uh, the number 17 goes down to an 8. The number 8 uh, in numerology corresponds to the infinite possibilities. There are so many things that are out there for you that you can manifest and you can do. Everything that you can um, think about, everything that you can um, believe about yourself, you can create it in your reality. The star card is the card that literally tells you that a star is born. This person is born to be with you. This born, this person has born to become your partner. The star card is about healing. So this person may be uh, like a doctor. Maybe they are a healer of some kind. They are someone who really likes to talk about spirituality. Um, and they are someone who can heal not only your body. They can also heal your mind and your spirit. Maybe they are a psychologist. Maybe they have uh, interest in psychology. They are interested in uh, self-care, self-help books maybe also again with uh, the Ace of Swords and the writing down things. Um, they are someone who is there for you. They are here to help you with your life. Again, there is healing energy around this person with the star card. It can also mean that this person, uh, they don't necessarily need to be a doctor or some kind of healer, you know, like a pharmacist or something. Uh, they can be a healer of the soul as well. They could be an artist. With the star card, there is the star is born energy. So this person may be an artist as well. Maybe they are a singer, a songwriter. Again, I have some kind of literature energy with uh, all this reading. There is literature. Um, I don't know. I'm getting very specific message about books. But anyway, uh, they might be an artist like a painter or a digital artist. Maybe they want to make a career out of their art. Uh, but they really want to move, be sure that they secure the bag first before they move on and create a new business with their art. All in all, I'm seeing that this person is to the point with things, but still they are a big dreamer. We have the moon and the star card. The moon and the star card paired together. I mean, we have card 17 and then we have card 18. So there is this continuality with this person that they get an idea and then they explore it. I mean, we also have this um, uh, message with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. They think about something, something, they have a creative idea and they take small steps towards it. They are not afraid to explore their ideas. They are not afraid to explore their options with things. Um, they are not afraid to try something different, even though there is this uh, energy with the Knight of Pentacles of slow and steady, they really like to, like to like study things. They really like to make sure they understand everything absolutely correctly before they move on uh, with something specific that they really, really want to do with their life. This could be in their career. This could be like in their love life. It can mean so many different things. Um, sorry, I had to pause for a little bit because I got cold and <laughs> I have put on my little, little beautiful crochet cardigan that I have made uh, like uh, years back. Uh, so 
I am so excited. Let's get more cards. Let's get more decks already. Let's get um, the Wisdom of the Oracle first. As you know, it is my favorite um, Oracle deck. Even though I have so many decks that I really would love to purchase. But um, we are getting there, guys. We're getting there. We have the card, the Fates, which jumped out but just by itself. It is card number 17. So again, 17. We have a card. Uh, card number 17 over here and number 17 over here so i don't know what it is with 17 um with you i feel like this is a special number which is odd i have never heard about someone having uh, a special number and that number would be 17 but 17 uh, goes down to an eight and again eight is the number of possibilities right uh infinite possibilities infinite scenarios and paths that uh Either we choose to move towards them or we just um, reject and it is totally fine. We have the card, the Fates. The Fates is a card that I that makes me think of the Wheel of Fortune kind of energy and also justice. For some reason, I'm getting both of these uh, tarot cards in this specific um, Wisdom of the Oracle card. The Fates makes me think that Fate is bringing you two together. This person is all about, um, they want the same things as you. They want marriage. They want someone who can spend the rest of their lives with. I really believe that this person likes to, would love to have a family also. And they are really going to be the parent who is always present. And they are never going to just leave you alone like uh, with the kids or when things get tough right uh i mean with the king of pentacles energy the knight of pentacles the ace of swords this person is not someone who will just leave you on red right i i said it already many many times no matter how uh, bad things may get like uh life hits us with all kind all kinds of weird things but uh, all in all, what I'm seeing is that this person is going to be there. They're going to be present. They're never going to leave you alone. They really uh, want you to take your time with things also, just as much as they like to take their time with things. But the thing is with this person is that they are never someone who will leave you for whatever reason. Um, with the fates, the fates are bringing you two together. But... Just know that it is always your choice and your choice of words and your choice of actions as to what it is going to happen between you and this person. Uh, I am saying this because many people watch these videos and then they just, uh, just sit back in their couch and they do nothing to get there, to get to their person. And as you know, I'm the kind of person who is always... Uh, there to tell you that you need to take some kind of action towards this person if you really like them. I'm always someone who invites people to... Specifically, if you like somebody, don't leave them wondering if you like them or not. Make the move because you are either going to be with the person that you like, the person of your dreams, or you're going to be miserable. I am someone who struggles with that for so long because I had bad image issue. I had so many, th many things going on in my life. And I, even though I was literally in love with um, like people in my life, I never made the first move. And even if I made the first move, it was never considered a move that was good enough to for the other person to understand if i like them or not right um so make the move don't sit back in your couch and like expect things to happen by doing nothing this may work like if you're someone who is in the receiving era you know and uh, you're someone who like believes in the law of assumptions that the law of assumptions that everything is just going to come for you good for you uh, but just know that things may happen in your life faster if you just put a little, little bit of action towards this goal. And specifically when it comes to people, be present. Show the other person that you are interested in them. Show the other person that you are there for them. But 
use your words, use your mind, use your brain to do that and never let your emotions just be there and sit around. Don't boil in your own blood uh, with passion for the other person. Show it to them. You never know. You might meet the person of your dreams. The right person might be right in front of you and you're just sitting there watching this video and doing nothing about the thing that you actually want to receive, right? So again, with the fates, it seems like karma is bringing you two together to be uh, like a couple and marry each other. But just know that even though fate may bring you a specific person, you may have signs from the universe that this is the right person for you. Uh, just know that your actions and your words and whatever you choose to do with this person is what is actually the reality of things and not karma just bringing you things to experience let's get one more card i think we got our card oh my god guys we have the card soulmate i knew it i knew it i knew it it is written in the stars it's written in the galaxies that you and this person is to be it's for you to be over oh, oh my god the universe really said now kiss literally the universe said now kiss <laughs> i'm so excited for you guys um look at this image oh my god we have the two little penguins over here as you know penguins made for life so Oh my, this feels so good to receive as a message. I am so excited for you guys. You are marrying your soulmate. Do you even fathom that you are one of the luckiest people out there, that you are going to marry your soulmate, your absolute soulmate, someone who is written in the stars for you to be one, to come together in this life amongst 10 billion people that we live on this planet you met your person do you even are you i i can't even fathom it guys you are the luckiest you are so ready for this i really believe that you are so ready for this fate has brought you and this person together you are going to marry your soulmate this person is going to feel like a breath of fresh air in your life this person is not going to make your life hard to live. This person is going to feel like, like breathing. When you are with this person, it is going to be so easy. It's going to feel like just breathing, just living life. So yeah, let's get you um, the Romance Angels deck. I am so excited, guys. You have your soulmate. Oh my God. Do you think the Romance Angels will, con will confirm that this person is your soulmate? Oh my God. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay. We have our cards. It is one of my favorites. Uh, I have said it before. We have the card Honeymoon. I have said before that this is one of my favorites of this deck. And we have the card New Love. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. So th this card suggests that this person is someone you don't really know. This is someone who is uh, new to you or you have never met before or it can mean that uh, you it is someone who you don't really know maybe you're like facebook friends but you know the kind of facebook friends that you never really talk you just see one post once in a million years but anyway the card in you love is about invitation to uh, get out there and not not to be afraid to show up for your feelings and show up for the people that you like. It seems that there is a love interest over here. I mean, we have the new love indicator with the Ace of Swords also. So I really believe that this person is someone who will literally like hug you and sweep you off your feet. This is such a beautiful energy. I am so excited for you guys. See how this figure over here finds the right person at uh, one of the most in one of the most beautiful ways see how these angels like move this figure towards the person 
I really believe that there is movement in your love life and the person you're going to meet is the one, the person with all these beautiful characteristics. We also have the card Honeymoon, which as I have said before, it is my favorite from this deck. I feel like when I got this deck, it was the first card that popped out because when you get a new deck, um, uh, what I do with uh, a new deck uh, every time I get a new one. I sleep with it in my pillow for three days. This is the one of the ritualistic um, things I do with a new deck. And then I introduce myself to the deck and I let the deck introduce itself to me. And when I asked um, this specific deck about my love life, you know, because it is Roman's Angels deck. And back then when I got this uh, specific deck, I had no one. I wasn't even in a relationship. I didn't even have a first relationship. I have never been, uh, you know, even kissed. Uh, so yeah, with uh, this is the card that popped out for my love life. And I see it with so much love right now because this card came absolutely true. Uh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Guys, when I tell you that my person, um, my person is just uh, not in the same um, city as I am and we have to go back and forth to each other and now we are like in the process of moving in together, but you know, there are things happening in between which is totally fine. I mean, this is how it goes. Um, when it comes to uh, you moving with your special someone or, you know, the special someone moving in with, uh, with you. And we live in very really weird times when it comes to money and all this, uh, you know, inflation and stuff. It can be quite expensive to move all your life to a different city. But the thing is that I see this card with so much love right now because um, this person is someone who will want to take you out on dates. This is someone who you will experience love in like a movie. This person is going to make your life feel like a movie. It is going to be easy. It is going to feel like breathing when you are with this person. This person will, um, I don't know how to say this. This person will make you feel at ease. This person I'm not really sure if I said it already, but with uh, the Knight of Pentacles and, uh, you know, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, this is someone who is a practical brain kind of person. So I really believe that there are someone who really likes to plan things out. So dates, traveling, all this kind of stuff that make uh, that uh, they may uh, cause you some kind of anxiety. This person is going to take care of all of those things for you because they love and adore you and it is easier for them to do so and they will never trouble you with things that you that, that you don't feel um, uh, like you don't feel uh, what are the words that are not feeling easy to you. Maybe they will teach you one thing or two about how to ease your anxiety with these things because it has helped them out uh, with their life and they will uh, love to help you heal this uh, anxiety for yourself as well. But all in all, I am seeing traveling indicator over here. I feel like the, there is movement. There is uh, so much for you and this person to experience. So yeah, I've said already that with the honeymoon card, I see that this person is going to feel like honeymoon every day for your rest of your life, especially like, I mean, this is the person you're going to marry. But yeah, this is the person you're going to marry. So of course, it should feel like you are in your honeymoon phase all the time. Let's get one more before I move on with exciting things for this reading. We have our card and it is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Guys, uh, I am getting that this person is very attractive. They are charming. They are, oh my God, I'm getting this magnetic energy with this person. I'm not really sure if it is going to be like their appearance, that it is going to be charming. But I really am getting that this is someone who has a deep and beautiful voice and the way they have it with words is what is going to like sweep you off your feet and like make you bend or something. 
<laughs> like fold you into like if you know what i mean this person is going to make you jiggle they're going to make you feel like you are again in a novel in a book talk uh oh my god i am so excited for you um attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so this is a beautiful invitation for you as well to enjoy your life enjoy the moments like before the like this beautiful storm of who will you marry uh i really am getting that this person is someone who is very charming they are going to make you feel like the most lucky person in the world uh and yeah romantic love is feeling the moment it is so helpful to feel attractive even at the thing at the points in your life when you feel like you are not attractive at all still confirm to yourself that you affirm to yourself that you are someone who is worthy of attention someone who is attractive no matter what and believe me be as crazy as you want and do the things that you like and the right people will just come along on your journey so let's move all these cards to the side for a little bit because i have something exciting which i did not have in my channel for a long while uh, because I didn't get them uh, <laughs> where I was. Anyway, I have a huge bowl of charms. It's been so long since I have done a charm casting. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Uh, let's get the charms. Oh, that's too many. Maybe I got too many. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting this one back because I'm going to do a reading in a little bit. Let's get all these um, charms over here so I can recognize them what they are. <laughs> you have the Christmas tree. Oh my God. And the staircase and the leaf. Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. And the mountain. Oh my God. You have... <laughs> you have the ring but this ring it says friend so this person is going to approach you in a friendly way at first they are going to uh, be someone who is there for you they are someone who really enjoys friendships they are someone who values friendship um above all when it comes to romantic relationships first they really want to get to know you and be there for you before they move on and tell you that they have feelings for you uh i really really like this uh charm especially because as you can see it is heart shaped it is white with all the sparkles but it says friend so i really believe that this person uh this new love that is arriving in your life is going to um have like its levers at first you're going to be friends and it is going to be uh, transform into a romantic relationship i also specifically see that with a dragonfly charm the dragonfly charm is about transformation so of course there is transformation uh between you two uh becoming from friends to lovers as you can see there is the soulmate indicator with the two hearts the two intertwining hearts as you can see there is this um the two lines that um just line up over here so this is my soulmate indicator this is your soulmate we also have the letter n as you can see over here uh the letter n makes me think of new beginnings so uh it can also be the first letter of this person's name or something specific that between you and this person that starts with the letter n uh, again it can be their name it can be the first letter of their license plate uh, of their car it can be um so many different things i'm going to pick letters in a little bit we also have the flower over here so again i feel like this person is going to be someone who is a very good gift giver they like to give you flowers and give you gifts uh we have these beautiful charms with uh, which i had since childhood as you can see it is one of um the old 2000s my little pony charms and it makes me think that this person uh is going to help you with your healing journey there's this star element uh tarot card with this uh, charm they're going to help you heal your inner child this person has clear intentions with you as you can see with uh, this clear heart which is very very sparkly uh we have a teapot uh charm over here as you can see it is pretty huge but i leave it in there because it is one of my favorite charms it means a 
a lot to me. Um, so with the tip of charm, I see again a friend indicator, someone who is a friend of yours, because tea time is be between friends, you know, and you enjoy quality time together with a beautiful conversation, beautiful uh, tasty tea. So I feel like you're going to have huge tea to spill with this person. So there is this uh, friend indicator again. We have the number seven. Um, as a specific number if it means something important to you we have the leaf over here which makes me think of uh, how things change but also if we, i think that this is a monstera leaf and as you know monstera leaves are uh, they enjoy the light they grow bigger and bigger as the time goes and it uh it never ends it never falls um Anyway, we have the staircase over here, which again, it is an indicator of a friendship and uh, a relationship involving from one thing to the next. We have the um, eye charm over here, and uh, this gives me like, um, how do I say this politely? <laughs> um, it makes me think of, you know, sensual energy. Uh, we call this specific shape Lahori in um, my country, but I'm not really sure how it is translated in English. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but it is an indicator of sensual energy and also protection because it, it is also shaped like uh, an evil eye. Uh, so there is protection uh, we, uh, from the evil eye over here. We have the pearl, which makes me think that this person uh, sees you as something very, very valuable in their life. We have the glow in the dark little pebble over here, which again, it is uh, an indicator of the star card um, from the tarot deck, which means that in the darkest of nights, this person is going to help you shine bright and see things clearly. We have the key, which makes me think that this person is a key part in your life. There is an indicator around Christmas time, Yule time, um, you know. So uh, it doesn't really matter when I post a new video, but maybe you're going to be proposed in uh, like uh, Yule or Christmas time. Uh, we also have the mountain over here. So maybe this person lives uh, close to the mountains or you live close to the mountains or you have a dream of traveling uh, close to the mountain whatever it is and we also have a battery over here the battery is an indicator of someone who is charged and ready to do things and move on with the next step in their life and we have the uh, dice which as you can see they are all chained together which uh, is uh, to me this charm means that there is going to be some train of events uh is this the expression um there are going to there, there are events that are going to happen one next to the other that are going to lead you to this specific person and specifically to get married to this person um and that is all the charms let's get some letters let's get some letters uh so that i can see where uh, maybe there are letters about, uh, like, the, again, the first name. We also have a letter of N, which I will bring right here. So let's get the letters and see where this is going. Ooh, let's see. We have a clear one. We have P, uh, A, A. N, Z, and B. And we have a clear one. So, I mean, this is an indicator that uh, the letter might not uh, be like a Latin one. It can be something specifically in your language. Uh, I mean, in my. Ah, we also have another A. I didn't see that. I just uh, saw it. Um, I don't know. But we have. Um, uh, again, B, Z, N, P, A, and a clear one. The clear one literally just means that there is something different than the Latin letters. And yeah, that is the letters we have uh, today. Again, the letters can mean that it is going to be the first letter of the name. It can be that there is something specific in their life that begins with those letters. It can be the name of their company, for example, or... Um, 
I don't know the first letter of the zodiac sign. I'm not really sure, but uh, these are the letters for you today. Uh, so uh, for last thing, we have the coin which on one side it says yes and the other side it says no. So you're going to ask a question and I'm going to flip the coin right in front of you. So ask your question. And let's see what we have. We have the no, which is interesting. I hope you did not ask something uh, very specific, like uh, when it comes to uh, if you will ever find love, because uh, of course this is uh, not the answer for you. Uh, maybe if you ask a specific person uh, right now, maybe that came to your mind when it comes to this specific reading, maybe this is an indicator that this is not the person, that there is someone who is so much better for you. But anyway, the answer is no, which is totally fine. Uh, it does not have to apply to you. This is just for some people with specific uh, questions. And you know, I'm just a video on the internet. So why believe what I tell you? So anyway, um, this is the reading for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading today. I'm so excited. This was a long requested video. So I can't literally wait to read your comments on it. Anyway, that is all from me. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Hit the bell so that you know when I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. And Saturday and yeah that is all from me let's move on to pile number three hello this is for everyone who picked pile number three with the pink heart and the sac uh, card captor sakura deck i am so excited to use this deck guys i have been wanting to use this deck but i was not quite sure how people would react to do this specific deck it is an oracle deck it is not a tarot deck but there are many cards that literally are the same as tarot cards so uh, again this card this deck has helped me in the past with so many things so i thought it would be a nice uh, invitation to you to uh, see this deck for yourself also but yeah let's see what the card is and who will you marry we have the card the time this is interesting the imagery of this card makes me think of the hermit card uh, because as you can see there is this uh, figure over here that looks to the side uh, specifically to the left and they hold uh, and this figure holds um, uh, what is this uh, called um, hmm. uh, why did the, the the word time scale came to my mind what is it uh, what is this word um can't figure the word out anyway sorry about that it is uh, something specific though because you have to hold this specific item upright in order for it to work um, if something happens and um, you throw it to the side it will not work out and everything will be messed up so i feel like this person will come to your life specifically at the right time uh, unless something else happens so there is a big indicator about decisions here so with the time card uh, we have the message of things happen when the things when the time is right but also uh, if not uh, if there is no pressure uh, happen at all nothing will ever happen so there is uh, there is some kind of two parts, two paths that need to happen here. I feel like I need to share two uh, different messages here. So on one hand, we have things happen at the right time when we are ready, uh, when we are in the right mind space, when we uh, literally really have the least resistance to get the thing that we want. And the other path is that um unless something different happens the same thing is going to happen over and over and we need to take this leap of faith this um this action that literally will transform your life uh for something to happen so i feel like the person that you are going to marry is in between things right now and they struggle to find uh the time to make all this stuff happen maybe they are someone who is kind of older than you and maybe this is why uh, they feel like their time is limited or that things uh, happened in their life and since those things happen nothing else can happen 
I feel like this person is kind of a loner. They take the time with things. They are mysterious. They are, um, they have this hermit energy with them. They, um, uh, focus their energy on their own path and it feels, um, uh, they, it, it feels like they have done all the things that needed to be done and they're not quite there yet. But with the time card, I feel like for them, it is finally the time to move on from all these limiting beliefs and all this limited um, energy that they experienced in the past. Maybe again, it feels like they... Um, uh, I don't know, maybe they feel like time has passed and it is not the right time uh, to move on and maybe have a marriage or something. Maybe they are critical towards marriage and now finally they understood that times are different. You don't have to um, like suffer the consequences of past limiting beliefs or past traumas and they want to, to do something different with their own life. I feel like this is the type of person who will just randomly decide things one day and um, it is unexpected even though, uh, I mean, I'm, again, I'm getting conflicted energy. So let's get more cards so that I can understand this person a little bit better. As you can see, the cards are quite long. So it might take a while for me to uh, get to the cards. We have the card, the honey. Oh my god look at this beautiful card so it's like we have the hermit card and the lover's card the honey card is so beautiful as you can see it is depicted as a heart with a crown on it and two wings so i really believe that this person is going to sweep you off your feet i really believe that this person is the one for you this person is going to taste like honey in your life and yeah the time is finally right the time is now i always say this um in my videos because the only reason i am doing this video is the only reason i have started this channel the only reason i changed this channel from an art channel to a tarot reading channel is because i want to help people empower themselves to do and go and chase their dreams and go after the dreams and empower them to take action for what they want and believe me, uh, it is going to happen for you. This person comes to your life in order for you to see that honey is not just limited to bees. You can taste the honey as well. This person will make the honey for you. This person is going to be there when you need the honey. They are going to help you experience love, sweetness, kindness, they are going to be someone who is very tasteful also. They really like things um, to be high-end and tasteful. They will help you experience things that they, it never happened before. Maybe again, there is this uh, element about them being kind of older than you, maybe wiser, and they have already experienced things that you experienced for the first time. So there is an indicator here that this, this person only wants the good stuff for you to happen. So they will never just uh, leave you with uh, questions or they will never let you experience something bad. So there is an indicator that they're going to be someone who really likes to take care of you when they... Uh, they plan for dates and stuff. They really want you to experience uh, like expensive and luxury things uh, because they know that um, it helped them with their own life and they want you to experience the same. There is so much love here, guys. The honey card makes me think of the milk and honey from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, uh, which we will get uh, after a while. But I want to make the reading with this deck first. Anyway, we have the honey card again. The honey card is about experiencing honey, the sweet things in life. This person is such a sweetheart. The person you're going to marry is a sweetheart. Someone who is kind, someone who is generous, someone who wants to share their successes, someone who wants to share, um, how do I say this? Uh, maybe their business has something to do with honey. Also, I got a specific message. Maybe they have beehives and uh, they sell the honey. Or I don't know, maybe they are... 
I don't know, in a big business, I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, maybe um, their business symbol or their favorite animal is bees. So I'm not really sure what it is. Sometimes with tarot readings, I'm getting specific uh, symbols and specific things. Uh, and you can incorporate them in your own life. Or it is just one random symbol that if you see this person have in their life or in things that they wear and stuff, it is going to be an indicator that this is your person. I know it has happened to me. It has happened to me before. Um, and this is why this is the reason I am saying this over and over again. Uh, for some of you, I also get a specific message that this person might have a tattoo that looks like this. So, again, I'm not really sure what it is. I, I'm getting specific messages. I don't know. As you can see, there are symbols over here. We have this uh, hourglass. Oh my god, I could not for the life of me figure out what the word was because I see this and I did not think of hourglass for some reason in my mind this uh, hourglass uh, was called uh, time cups <laughs> I'm not really sure why but anyway we have the symbol of an hourglass and we have the hearts and the wings and the crown over there so there are many symbols over here as you can see for this specific reading I have a pink heart uh, the heart shape and you have a heart over here as well so as you can see there are many symbols over here so again these might be symbols that this person has tattoos or they wear a specific shirt that has these symbols or i don't know they they wear a purse and the purse has this specific symbol as a buckle i don't know what it is i'm just saying that these symbols might be indicators of what uh your special someone likes like in their clothing or something specific but anyway let's get more cards oh uh we got oh it, we did not got any cards anyway that was too many let's get them back and continue shuffling oh no we got our card and it is the chains hmm I like this for you. I really, really like this. We have the chains, and as you can see, we have a salamander looking uh, figure on the card. Uh, the chains makes me think that this person really wants to change their lives. Again, there was an indicator with this time uh, card also, which again makes me think that this person has some specific uh, things that happened to them um that has kept them in this limiting believing limiting beliefs stage in their mind and for some reason they could not change but now it feels like they want to experience things and they start from the root they are changing their lives from the root this is the person that likes changes um or they finally understood that changes are literally the thing that it is supposed to happen in order for them to move on with their life i feel like getting one more even though i only got uh five for each uh pile but i feel like getting more for you we have our card and it is the sword interesting this gives me ace of swords energy so uh guys hmm this gives me Ace of Swords energy. The Ace of Swords is all about new beginnings, as all aces uh, in Tarot indicate. So we have the Sword, Ace of Swords energy, new beginnings. This person has, um, they want to make a new start with their life, and especially in their love life, which is an indicator with the Honey card. And the sword is like the swords correspond to the earth, the air element. I'm sorry. Uh, the swords correspond to the air element. The air element is all about communication, how our brain works, how we communicate things, what we choose to say, our words written or oral. So I really believe that with the sword card, this person not only wants to change things from the root they are changing their mindset about something i really believe that you're going to meet this person in the verge of their chains and it is going to be uh, kind of confusing to you when you're going to meet this person because you will not really uh understand it being point um what they want to do or what they want to be uh in their life and where they even are right now 
but these stains is for the best of them this stains was long overdue i really believe that this person has experienced many many things uh in their life and this is why it is um really 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 important to them right now to experience these stains i really believe that they have a change a change in their mindset i really believe that even though they are changing they are still someone who can communicate uh that uh right now there is this going on in their lives and it has nothing to do with and it has nothing to do with how they view you or how they choose to um do things with you I really believe that this is a kind of person that puts effort towards things and they are a good communicator and they will let you change because they like to, uh, they really want to change themselves and all of that to tell you that they are ready for it. They are ready for the big love. They are ready to experience this honey with you. Let's get more cards. Maybe they have a pet salamander also, which is very interesting. Um, we have the card, the dash, and we also have the card, the song. Very interesting cards. The dash. Yeah, this person. Oh my God. Guys, with the dash card, I think that this person is um, very different than whoever ever you have ever met i'm not really sure what why this there is this energy with them with the chains but also uh not have chains for a long while so it feels different for them right now the dust makes me think that this person has the urge to change things they have this um magnetic energy to go off and do something i really believe that also maybe uh you have never met a person before that just makes a move towards you and this person is going to make a move towards you they are not going to shy away from you they're not going to just leave you on red they're not going to ghost you they are someone who again there is um, they are a good communicator i mean with the shortcut they are a good communicator they are not going to leave you uh with questions they are someone who will literally rush on to tell you exactly what they have in their mind with the dust card i also think that this person likes um traveling they like to they like things fast so maybe their hobby is uh, like motorcycles they like to go on rides with their car uh, uh maybe race cars is something important to them i, I also got a message about um them having something to do with airplanes i'm not really sure why i got this specific message um again maybe they are a pilot maybe their job involves airplanes or helicopters i'm not really sure why i just get some specific messages when i see specific cards um for some reason i'm also thinking of pokemon because uh this figure over here makes me uh think of that pokemon how is it called espeon i think uh, it's one of the evolutions, I think it is the psychic one. Uh, so yeah, I feel like this person has many interests. They love animals also. I feel like, um, I mean, I don't know. They like chains. They like things. I don't know. They, mm -hmm. this is a very interesting person. I really believe that. The quality of this person to their core is communication and really, really wanting things to happen in a specific time and especially when they choose to do it because otherwise it, uh, I don't know, it just makes them freeze for some reason. The time card is what is interesting because the other cards, I mean, if we get this card out of the question all these other cards make me think of someone who loves communication loves ch loves changes they uh chase their dreams they go off and they act on their dreams they act towards their goals and they are very creative we have the card the song also which makes me think that this person loves art they love the idea of getting into the music industry or 
they really really enjoy music and music is something that it is going to bring you two together but at the same time with the time card which has this hermit energy i feel like this person is what what is not what most people think when they look at this person i'm not really sure what it is maybe this person likes the mystery uh maybe they enjoy quality time just by themselves uh or they really want to keep things quiet when it comes to their love life and but again i'm getting this specific message that um you getting married to this person was long overdue maybe this is um because you are in a relationship right now and maybe it is a long-term relationship you have been together for like five or ten or uh, how many years and the proposal has not happened yet but the thing is uh if you want to get married this is something that you need to communicate to your partner and uh see where things are going and um, if this is something that it is not in their dreams, maybe you should consider changing uh, your relationship, changing the lifestyle that you uh, want and changing a partner, which is totally fine. If it is not their dream, uh, you cannot force someone to just get married if they do not want to do so. But the thing is, today's reading is about who will you marry? So maybe... Uh, this this is the person you're going to marry this person is different this person you cannot pinpoint what they are doing with their lives uh, they have so many talents they like changes they like communication maybe they communicate things through, through songs and uh, through traveling and they are the kind of person who is uh, so outgoing but also kind of a loner maybe they like to just go on adventures by themselves maybe their instagram is full of uh their pictures in different locations and uh this is why you cannot really pinpoint what they do with their lives and this can be quite confusing at times but this person oh my god this person communicates to you through music and through um seeing what you can enjoy uh if you join them in in their lives let's get one more that's too way too many oh my god we have our card and uh oh that's too many oh my god i'm sorry as you can see it is taking me a while to get these specific cards because they are too long for my hands which i really like though because look how pretty they look uh, in this uh in this reading today i mean especially with that red fabric i have we have the card the sleep interesting interesting I mean, this person is so different. I don't know the energy there. Hmm. This is literally the kind of person who one day chooses to go off and live in the mountain. And the next day they are out there partying with all the friends they have ever, ever met. We have the card, the sleep, which makes me think that this person values uh, quality time by themselves. They value uh, their sleep schedule. They value your sleep schedule. Um, sleep is something very, very important to them. Maybe they are someone who has suffered with nightmares before and now it is something they have healed from and finally they enjoy uh, their sleep they enjoy uh, their bed or it it is an indicator they are that they are very good in bed they, that you sleep like uh, a cute little bed afterwards you know I cannot really say much about this this is a quality channel uh, <laughs> but anyway uh, I mean this is a person that gets many ideas during their sleep I really believe that they are a big dreamer they enjoy uh, quality time with people they really really love and adore in their lives I mean with the honey card they make every moment count with the dust they go off and 
do the things that they always say people that they are going to do with the song card they are a dreamer they are someone who um communicates through music maybe again they are a songwriter but they are uh maybe they are too afraid to show off their music oh my god this person i can i literally it is hard to read but also i can understand where they're coming from because i'm the kind of person who uh like as a kid i said that i wanted to be an archaeologist and then i saw that no not at all and then i said that i wanted to be a dancer then i wanted to be a painter then i wanted to be a mathematician i am crazy you know so it is it was quite hard to pinpoint what i would actually turn out as and i am still someone who you cannot really pinpoint what it is going to happen to them career wise so it is all ever changing and i feel like this is someone who you really really want in your life because maybe you're someone who is uh quite strict with what they want to do you're someone with a program but you lack this excitement um element you lack this uh fire spirit and uh I don't know, maybe you do not really experience urges to go off and do things. And this is the kind of person who will excite you to go off and do things. I mean, I did want, it, I did want someone who will take me out of my misery, you know, and go out with me for long walks and uh, who is not afraid to travel and someone who can organize all that because I get stressed so much to, to do this. But I did, I do have a partner who does all these things uh, with me and for me because they really are to live life. They really want to experience and go out and um, celebrate life. But also they are someone who literally enjoys sleep. So whatever it is, maybe all of these cards are here to tell you that people are ever changing and you need to be okay with that and you are going to marry someone who is going to you are going to live an exciting life with so let's get some uh, wisdom of the oracle cards as you know it is one of my favorite uh, oracle decks it is my favorite oracle deck we have the card happy happy which is beautiful it's card number 26 which goes down to an eight eight is the number of infinite possibilities so you're going to experience happiness in so many levels that um you i mean you will not question this person's character because all in all, you are so happy. You're going to experience true happiness and pinpointing what this person is and what they do with their career and what we, they do with their life is not going to be the important thing about them because you're going to live excitement. You're going to be happy. You're going to be fulfilled. And uh, this instinct with them, this person is happy. This person is happy being around you. This person is going to help you experience happiness. We have the card message in the bottle also. Uh, it's card number 15. 15 goes down to a six. Six is the number of the lovers in the major arcana card when it comes to tarot cards. Six is the number of the lovers. So this person is your true love. This person is ever changing and they will transform your life. We have the card message in the bottle. As you can see, it is a bottle uh, inside the sea. The sea, um, like it is the water. Water is all about our emotions and how we choose to express them. This person is going to express adoration towards you. They have a message for you. Maybe they um, the, their communication is going to be in written form. Uh, this can mean like in social media or in true letter form. This person is someone who really likes to ex like talk about things because we have the sword card and the message in the bottle. This person, of course, wants communication. Um, it, it helps them understand what people need. So if you want to experience love with this person, be someone who communicates how they feel. Um, I mean, you're going to experience happiness, you're going to experience love. So 
be open about it because this person is open about it and they really want to change the world with you i really believe that there is this element with this person that you and this person are going to be to feel like a power couple you are going to experience love that it feels like it is going to change the world so be excited about it because i mean this person that you're going to marry you're going to live so many lifetimes with this person this is what it feels like because i mean with all these changes the dust the change but also the sleep i feel like you're going to experience so many different things with this person uh you're going to marry a person that will not just uh, be a rock flying around the universe they are ever changing and it is a good thing we want people that understand that change is important for things to happen and involve let's get romance angels card we have our card and it is retreat beautiful retreat is one of my favorites from this deck because as you can see it says it's time to disconnect from the world this person wants to take you out on days they want to experience the world how you experience the world this person is going to sweep you off your feet travel with you take you out on days and long walks they it's just you and them and the rest of the world can go burn this person is going to make you feel like a partner in crime if you know what i mean this person is like I don't know it is just you and them you are the one for them this person has no eyes for anyone else ever this person is happy to see you this person is happy to ever get the chance to meet you like we ha uh, we are 10 million people in this uh, earth so it feels so lucky that they get to experience you that they are going to do everything everything in their power to do all these crazy things with you get you out on dates get you out and travel the world get you to experience things that you ever wanted because uh it is intriguing to them for you to ha have you not experienced something have you not get uh, have you not yet traveled to the country that you always have dreamed of they will make the plans for you and take you to that country you always dreamt of being in guys this is an opportunity of a lifetime to be with this person i know it seems confusing with all these cards being conflicting to one another but i can totally understand them i hope i get the message uh clear for you that maybe you are too afraid to not have exact pinpoints uh, about what this person is or the signs and stuff but oh my god let's continue shuffling with these cards the romance angels deck we have our card uh and it oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry about that oh the cards just flow around my hands i can't get them out. oh my god stay optimistic uh, about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance this person is someone who is very optimistic they like happiness they enjoy happy people they enjoy being around people who uh, want to live their best life because uh, they really are all about going after their dreams and going after their goals and they really want someone who can uh, pass on the same excitement and pass on that life is beautiful and life is positive and life is all about experience the most beautiful emotions and go after your dreams right so this person uh, that you're going to marry is someone who is very optimistic and i feel like this is a message for you too that you need to stay optimistic about your love life and uh, not get into a slump uh, when things get like uh hard or when you feel like you have uh like you are in a troubled situation right now that nothing is going to ever change this person is all about teaching you that change is good and staying optimistic is what will get you closer and closer to your goal let's get one more card to finish off the card reading before i move on to fun stuff oh 
oh we got our card and it is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yeah i feel like this is a clear message for you also this person is all about opening up their hearts to uh people that they meet because their personality is just so kind they are so generous with their energy they are kind and lovely to be around so and they really like to get to know people and your bond deepens as soon as you have heart to heart conversation and getting to know people not uh, like in a surface level like what is your favorite color and what music do you like because these things can change because people are ever changing you're not going to remain the same person you were like when you were a teenager or a young adult because things happen in your life and change is good and change is uh, ever needed in order for us to level up ourselves so this is about the important stuff this is about building the important stuff that you need in your life to get higher higher and higher each time getting to know each other is a perfect card uh, specifically if you're someone who struggles to uh, deepen the bond with a special someone this is about you opening up also and about recognizing how this person communicates this person will show you so much interest they are going to show you that tastefulness and luxury things are to be experienced for you also and i really believe that all in all this person uh wants to give you the time all the time in the world to uh how do I say this? Oh my God, uh, I even got getting, I'm even getting confused with my words. What I'm trying to say is that this person wants to uh, give you the world. They really want to help you taste the honey of life. They really want to let you know that um, like through music and through art, that all these tasteful things in life are enriched for you too. And they really want to be someone who will enrich your life with love, excitement and happiness. Um, I feel like that is all the cards um, I can get for you today. So let's move on to the exciting part of the reading. I'm going to have the cards over here so that I can see them. Uh, so I'm going to do a chart casting today, which was a long overdue. It's been so long since I have done a chart casting in my channel, but here I am. These are all my charms. They overflow <laughs> from my bowl, but let's get our charms. Oh my God. Uh, guys, I am not, I did not even look uh, at the ball because I'm too focused on looking at the monitor being, uh, everything being okay. Uh, we have all these charms. So let's move them a little bit around, but keeping them close to where they, uh, where they actually are. We have met, guys, <gasps> can you even believe it? Guys, uh, it was on the clock. This dice was on the clock. Oh my God. I cannot even believe. Where to even start, guys? First of all, first of all, oh my God. We have, uh, this is a new addition. This uh, was uh, gifted to me by, by one of my uh, friends. Uh, this is literally that candle wax um, where you put uh, as a stamp on and it is these beautiful arrows. As you know, it is one of my favorite things. And this is a huge indicator of love written in the stars. Uh, this uh, coin is uh, from my culture. We bake a pie for a saint every year, every first of um, every first of the year. We celebrate Santa Claus and we bake a pie uh, for him uh, specifically. And we put this little coin in the pie, and whoever gets the piece with that uh, with this specific coin, uh, it is an indicator that this is going to be their year, like their lucky year uh career wise money wise 
any kind of wise. Uh, so this is an indicator that this person is a lucky person. Um, they are someone who brings luck to other people also. We have the bell over here, which makes me think that this person is just going to feel like you have signs for them. Uh, you have had signs. Maybe this uh, is a, um, is an absolute indicator that this person is arriving fast. Every time I see a bell, I see that there is something happening to you. Maybe when you're going to meet this person, you're going to hear uh, ringing in your ears. So be prepared for that. We also have the hand. This is a right, a right hand. So I feel like this is a person who is a good gift giver, someone who really likes to give time and energy towards others. They are very genuine with their energy. Uh, we have this pin which fell upside down, but it is the angry pin. But it fell upside down, which is an indicator that this person does not get angry. And even if they get angry, they will never... Uh, cause troubles because of their anger. They take their time to calm down before they uh, speak about things. Uh, they need uh, their time to think about things and they are going to give you time to for you also to think about things before you move on and say heavy words. Um, we also have uh, like the beautiful pin over here, speaking of pins, we also have the, this pin which is a hard rock cafe pin but it has a bird on it. This person is all about dreaming big and transforming their lives. We also got a transformation indicator with a dragonfly, which is very, very interesting. This person key to success is change. And even though maybe they were scared in uh, uh, like before to uh, change their lives, they still did it and they are so proud of it. I feel like this is the kind of person who is very proud, uh, who, is very, uh, who takes pride um, in their choices and they really are someone who is going to help other people make themselves priority and like share this knowledge that the key to everything is what you feel inside and what you move on towards. We have the dice in the number four. The number four is a, in numerology is all about stability. So I feel like this person is a very steady personality when it comes to uh, I don't know, the root of things like where they live or where they, their money is coming from. I feel like they have created some kind of stable uh, thing, but also they are someone who likes transformation. They like things to be uh, ever changing. I'm not really sure how they do it, uh, if they can teach me also how to uh, be steady and also uh, fly along and live my dreams. I, I feel like I want to be taught that. We have the hat, which is very interesting. Maybe this person is, really likes to wear hats or they like fashion that has to do with hats. Maybe they work as someone who creates hats. <laughs> I don't know. It can be, it can be so many things. Um, I don't know how, what else I could say about the hat, the hat over here. It can mean that this person is someone who protects their energy because uh, we wear hats to protect our heads, our hair, and um, it is literally crown chakra protector uh, and of course third eye protection when you wear a hat, when you wear a veil. Uh, so whatever it can mean, this just means that they really like to protect their energy from energy vampires. Uh, we also have this beautiful cell, which again is... Um, I have said this before in my videos, this is an indicator of sensual energy, if you know what I mean, especially if they are uh, masculine, male, um, or like you know, you're interested in men. This is an indicator of huge sensual energy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and guys, uh, I wanted to say this from the start, but oh my god, see... You have the hourglass over here and you have the hourglass charm. What did I even... I, I have no words. I have no words. This reading, as you can see, has a continuum over here. There is momentum here with this reading. Even though this person, you cannot pinpoint like down 
to the point what this person is and who they actually are, it is the right time for you to experience this kind of person, to experience this ever-changing energy uh, in a person. This is a person that you will never get bored of. Literally, we have the hourglass here in the hourglass over here. Guys, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Oh my God. And uh, you also have this uh, time indicator and you have the time card also, which literally makes perfect sense. It is about time that you met your special person. You met this specific person that they are, you are going to marry and that you are never going to be bored of. And we also have the soulmate indicator with this specific charm. This is my soulmate indicator, guys. This is my soulmate charm. As you can see, it has two hearts that intertwine with one another. And it literally is my soulmate indicator. So this person that you're going to meet is the one you're going to marry and you're going to spend a lifetime with. Let's get some letters. I am so excited to get you your letters. Uh, many people asked me to uh, bring letters, so I did my best. So let's get some letters for you. Oh, I threw them all around uh, my screen over here. We have XP. O, 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 <laughs> and another P, um, which spelled right here, uh, a forbidden word. Uh, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I, I wh what can I do to not <laughs> pop? Here we are. Uh, so we, these are the letters. For some reason, we have three O's and two P's. I'm not really sure what it is with them. Maybe I can get you some more. We also have, oh my God, we have an A. I feel like getting you some more because... Let's get them more. We have a K, an I, an N, a T, another T, and another I. So... These can be letters that spell out a specific something. These can be uh, like letters from um, the license plate uh, on the car they uh, drive. It can be letters of their first or their last name. It can be a specific letter about a specific something. For some reason, I get the fact that the number 000 is going to be important for you. I don't know why sometimes... Um, I mean, these are letters, they are not numbers, but when I see the O, I am getting that this is a new start. This is, this was long overdue. It was to happen. So these are the letters for you. I also have a coin, uh, which on one side it says yes, and on the other side it says no. So feel free to ask a question right now, and I'm going to flip the coin uh, to see if the answer is yes or the answer is no. But not, don't, do not really take this um, specific thing by heart, because many people watch these videos. This is a general reading, and you know, sometimes our questions come from our fearful place. Um, so don't get, uh, upset if the answer is not what you expect. Uh, just forget it. If it does not resonate with your energy, it is not the right message for you. And that's just what it is. So let's get you your coin, ask your question in your head or out loud. And let's see what you got. Oh my God, you got a yes. Oh, this is so, so much fun. I love when the answer is yes. For me, always the answer is yes, because my dreams are big and I'm not here to stay sad because I do not have it. Uh, I do not yet have it. So, yeah, uh, that is all the messages I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if this message resonates to you. Let me know if you have questions, if you have ideas for future videos. Let me know if this reading came out true to you. Many people leave me uh, comments down below with the date that they watched the video uh, in order for them to come back and comment if it came true. 
uh, and I have many comments like that so feel free to comment down below I never judge feel free to comment down below interact with my video like subscribe uh, hit the bell so that you know when I post a new video I post every Wednesday and Saturday uh, so yeah thank you to everyone who kept this video playing because you wanted someone to give you company thank you so much it helped my channel grow I am so happy for you guys that you get to experience love you're going to meet someone you're going to marry and yeah oh my god that is all from me I'm so excited um so yeah oh my god i can't stop talking oh my god okay that is all from me i will see you in my next video bye